Welcome to this lecture on the bacterial infections in the skin. Before we discuss the infections, let us have a look at what bacteria live on the skin. The bacteria that live on the skin are called as the skin flora. Now, the flora is of two types. It is the resident flora or the transient flora. As the name suggests, resident means they live here. So these resident flora live normally on the skin as permanent residents. They don't harm us, we don't harm them and this is called as being commensal. So these bacteria live as commensals on the skin. They normally do not cause a disease. So they normally do not cause disease. But in certain situations which may be favorable to the bacteria, they might cause disease. Okay? So normally these resident flora do not cause disease. However, the transient flora, the name itself is suggestive, transient means they don't normally live, they come, they go, but when they come, they are pathogenic and they cause disease. So these are the two different groups of the bacteria which are present on the skin. Talking about some normal resident skin flora, these are the examples of the bacteria which are present on our skin as commensals and they also perform a protective function. They protect our skin from the pathogenic bacteria, the fungi and allow us to maintain a normal homeostasis. These are the Propionobacterium acnes, the Corinebacteria, Staphylococcus epidermidis, which is the coagulase negative Staphylococci, yeast like the Candida albicans and numerous others. Okay, So the important ones are these four. P. acnes lives in the sebaceous glands, the Corinebacteria live in the skin, in the stratum corneum, so do the Staph epidermidis and Candida, oh Candida is omnipresent in the body. It is present in the skin, in the oral cavity, in the vaginal mucosa, the glands penis in the men, so every mucosa whether it be the oral, the genital, which includes vaginal, anal, penile, all these mucosa have candida as normal commensals and it is even present on the skin. So these are the normal skin flora. Now let us move at the pathogenic flora. So the first infection that we deal with the pathogenic flora is called as pyoderma. Pyo means pus. Derma means skin. So, pyoderma means a purulent bacterial infection of the skin. And when we talk about pyoderma, we divide it into two types. Pyoderma is divided into follicular pyoderma and non-follicular pyoderma. The difference is self-suggestive. Follicular means this affects the hair follicles and the non-follicular affects the epidermis, the dermis, subcutaneous fat, fascia, etc. So this one affects the different layers of the skin while the follicular affects the different hair follicles 
in its own way. So this is about the classification of pyoderma. We will now discuss the non-follicular pyodermas. About the non-follicular pyodermas, see here the classification is depending upon the depth. So here the classification of non-follicular pyoderma depends upon the depth of the involvement. Whether it is superficial or deep. So let us have a look at the different types of non-follicular pyoderma dependent upon the depth of the involvement. So this is an image here which is showing me the entire cross section of the skin. Starting with the top, this part is the epidermis. 